Just edged away for four, no slip in. South Africa to South Africa. This is a big battle. Tahir has been brought on for De Villiers. No real turn here, just opening the face. And he'll take the boundary. Just a reminder too, Tahir did get De Villiers just a couple of weeks ago. Oh, what a shot. Up and over, wide mid-off. Into out. Back-to-back -back boundaries for De Villiers. The fact that he got him out in the last game, I don't think will be entering his mind whatsoever. Yes, that's nice. You almost feel blessed that he didn't get run out in the last over. Flicked away. Will that go all the way? Not quite. There was that De Villiers shimmy to leg and then got back into position. This is what they came to see, the Middlesex fans anyway. Whoever's working on that Jubilee line, get it fixed now. Get the Middlesex fans here. Because AB is not only in town, he's out in the middle. No, run out chance, gone, absolutely gone. That was all from two dots. That was all from De Villiers at the other end. And Eskenazi succumbs to pressure. Well, you called it, Nass. You could feel something just building here. Was it going to be a risky shot? No, it was a risky run. There was no way known Eskenazi was going to force A.P. de Villiers to run on through. He departs for 21 in Middlesex, 56 for three. Oh, one of the big, biggest cheers of the evening. World Cup winning captain, Owen Morgan. What a great moment for him. Goes down to De Villiers. And all of Lords there applauded Morgan to the crease. Three and a half weeks ago, he was lifting the World Cup. Now his job is to get a score for Middlesex. Yeah, that's a good shot. Gets it past mid-off. He looks in good touch, does Owen Morgan. 11 from the over, 67 for three. Is really well played, hit through the line, hit into the gap, and the outfield is fast enough to take it to the four, to the boundary. But just the, the last delivery of an over is such a crucial delivery, it's actually advantage to even have a set play to tell the batsman what you're trying to do and just try and minimize damage. Stuart Law, Middlesex coach, on the back right of the dugout, he'll want these two to go long and build a partnership. They will not score slowly, these two. Shows the short boundary. And that side for Morgan, over mid-off. Another slow ball, but it was a full toss and it was put away. Yeah, one variation too many. It is a very poor ball. You don't want to ball. A rank full toss to any batsman. Easy pickings for Morgan. He chose the, the harder option, actually, to wait for it and go mid-off. It could have been very easy to try and drag it leg side towards a longer boundary. Very smart batting. Reverse comes, brilliant shot, brilliant hands. Yeah, brilliant by Owen Morgan, especially with that length that was being bowled. He's put away the slog sweep, and he's taken over the option of the reverse sweep, and he sat up really nicely for him. Didn't really go too far down in terms to, of, of the trajectory of the ball and the bounce to meet it. That's beautiful execution. Good connection and four. Yeah, well executed. Hit it, hit it well in front of square. Two set for the short ball at deep fine leg and deep square leg. But it's an easy pace pitch. Pulling round the wicket, even though the angles dictate that it'll go more towards the finer side. Opening up that front foot and hitting it well square. Classy shot from one of the greats and a 50 partnership up between these two. Yeah, Mr. 360, and this is why we call him that.
is watching that ball swaying out of the way and just making sure he has enough room to get bat on ball and flicks it over short the man just beautiful batting look at those hands those wrists everything is brilliant batting brilliant partnership middlesex well set and there we go the shot boundary that is Owen Morgan's area. He's been looking for that slot sweep against Gareth Batty. They brought in the leg spinner, and off he goes. He went into the crowd. Six runs. First six of the innings as well. Slightly wider. He's able to get his range through the arc. He's found the gap on this occasion, A.B. de Villiers. Four more. Yeah, not the best line to bowl with a short, fine leg up. Another back of the hand, slower ball. But A.B., look at those wrists. The whip and flourish of the bat at the end. It's brilliant at reading length and line very, very quickly. Able to fetch that one, and it's gone for six. Well, he knows what the plan is. Just uh, watches and waits, slightly flatter. Such good reach on the ball, Morgan. Drop short, and Owen Morgan capitalises, does he? Yes. It's gone all the way, two sixes in the over. Real drag down from to here. Morgan was cheering this over the boundary. He went up a long way, not sure, he was right out of the middle of the bat, and that is a big part of the ground. Just enough. Oh. What was that, who went? Oh, what a shot that is. That is the best of them. That was time. That was beautiful from Morgan. Excellent over for Middlesex. 21 from it, 149 for three. Morgan goes to 50. Lots of good memories of this ground for the England captain. He's entertaining everyone this evening. 54 from 27 deliveries. His 34. 50 in T20s. Goes across his stumps. Mid on, tries to get round, won't. 50 for Morgan, 50 for De Villiers now. Get ready as well. This is going to be good to watch. Any more that he does from here. Shots like that, the movement across. De Villiers at his best. Just misses his Yorker, Ricky Clark. You see him do that so often, though, De Villiers. Gets low, almost on his knee. Over, over to here. It was a real handout wave in the air to let it by. <laughs> yeah, he did. I mean, how many times you see that? Club cricket, whatever it is. Just stick a hand out, but you're not really going for it. <laughs> Oh, that's what he wanted. Full toss, but he's clothed it. He's clothed it. Straight up in the air. He was blowing by the end, A.B. de Villiers. And even the low full toss couldn't be put away. Well, when you're playing this shot, where do you want the ball? Pretty much here. Low full toss. He hits right in the toe of the bat. Just want to check the front foot from what we're hearing. Some creature has just waved to Rob Keith <laughs> as he walked past the pod. That's long on. Is it six? It is. A yard too far. Yeah, you set your base, and then if you get it in the slot, you can play accordingly. Moves early. He said when he played against Afghanistan, he did things then that he didn't know he could do, even at the stage of his career that he's at. 
This time he does go leg side. This time it doesn't go all the way. It's taken. Well, arguably that one sounded better than the one he hit for six not long ago. But he just dragged it a little bit more into the leg side, so he had a bit further to go. Just gave him just a bit more room. It's a short boundary on one side, but to where he hit that was one of the longer ones.